What's up YouTube? Here to show you the Tascam DP32 on the MIDI function. So as you know Tascam DP32 is a standalone and basically all you can really do with it is transfer files through USB. And for those of you who don't know, which is most likely the beginners, all you need is MIDI chords. As long as you have your MIDI chords, you know, connecting your task cam to a audio interface, you can connect it to a computer. And I'm just saying that for your knowledge, just in case you don't know. Basically, when you turn on your task cam DP32, you'll see the home screen. So you're just going to hit menu, highlight the MIDI and select it. My mode is off. My device ID is all. Mode master. You know, program change on. Control change on. And my MIDI sync generator is on clock, not MTC. Though MTC works pretty much the same way. It doesn't really matter as long as you get your mixer connected to the computer. Um, I had my MIDI cords in and out jacks into my interface. Um, as long as your interface has MIDI in, MIDI out, it really doesn't matter what you use, whatever's best for you. This is inbox two, it goes to my Pro Tools. I don't really use Pro Tools because I think. Studio One is much better. Now, as you can see, I had to fade it on my Studio One. And I can control them from my MIDI surface. See? Control them, and you know, I have my master right here. So basically, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, basically, all you have to do, go back to start, external devices, click add, and basically, when you click add, this is gonna come up. You're gonna put in the name of your control surface, and receive from your in, send to your out whatever the name of your control surface is going to be. So, as you can see, I have my task cam DP32 connected already. And basically, you're going to go to external. And once you click external, you're going to do Let's see. You're going to highlight the name of your control surface, which is mine's is Tascam DP32. And you're going to go to Edit. MIDI Learn. The only thing I did with MIDI Learn, I just moved each one of these faders up and down. Once I did that, my fader is connected to each of these. You're going to close that out and you're going to right click. Assign volume control to control 10. Basically, in order to change to control 10 or whatever it says your control is on, you can click off and you're just going to move your fader up and down so now it says the sign volume to control 2 that's all you need to do and you just click that and you move the fader you want to connect it to whatever fader on your doll that you want to use okay and that's pretty much it as you can see I have my faders working and you can have fun as if you're like in an actual studio other than just using a mouse. 
in the program itself. You can use your control surface. Same thing goes for FL Studio. Only problem with FL Studio is, well, I'll do another video on that, but I can only get one fader to work, so if anybody has any idea on how to get the FL Studio version to work, um, let me know. But it does work in there. I just have to figure out how to get all my faders to work properly in FL Studio. But that is the MIDI function of the Tascam DP32. If you have any questions, comment, rate, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll be happy to ask any questions, anything you need help on. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching.